Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe, and give us some love. Share these videos with your friends that could potentially use them to help educate them on our sport. That's the whole purpose behind this, and the more that we do that, the better we're gonna get as competitors. And with that, let's take a look at the IFBB Legends Pro Review. Okay, so I know we have a lot of new people um, that are brand new to the brand, have just found out about us because of this athlete search, all those kinds of things. So give you a little bit of a lowdown on what BSPN is as we start, as we go into this new year, okay? BSPN, I've been so excited for this all day and night. So BSPN is Bikini Suits and Posing Network. So it's like ESPN, but it's for female athletes in our sport, okay? So what I do is, for those of you that are new here, I do previews of the pro shows every week, and then we do a wrap up after the results are over with. So during the previews, we kind of talk about, um, you know, who could be the potential top five, who's on a hot streak, who is looking to make their mark, you know, all those kinds of things. That, that's what we do in the preview, just like as if you were watching ESPN, same kind of thing they do going into a big football game weekend or something like that, same kind of deal. Um, and then once the show is over with, typically on Monday, typically on Mondays when we, we come back and re we review what happened that week. Weekend. Um, really depends on if the pictures have come out and you know all kind of what kind of coverage we've had. Most of these shows nowadays do have live feeds, things like that too. So if I'm able to see video, I'm able to give a way better review than if I just see pictures because pictures do not tell the whole story. So with that, tonight for the Legends Pro, all we have is pictures, so I know they don't tell the whole story. So uh, we are gonna go through the top five. We're gonna talk a little bit about them each, but I always use that caveat of A, I wasn't there, and B, there's no video. So I can't give you um, specifics. I'm just gonna tell you what I see based on the photos that are up on NPC News Online. Um, so, and with that too, you guys, you guys know I used to be a judge. I'm not anymore. So my opinion is just my opinion. <laughs> it doesn't mean jack crap at the end of the day, other than this is entertainment purposes and maybe you'll learn a thing or two, you know, so that's what this is all about. Um, you are more than welcome to put in your two cents as well. Give your thoughts too. Um, that's what makes this fun. It is a conversation. It's not me just talking at you. It's us talking together and discussing it. Okay. The whole purpose behind BSPN is so that you can learn and be Become a better competitor yourself that is the whole purpose behind it okay and then what we do is we take this uh, that we've just talked about I edit it along with pictures and if we have video that'll put video in there too and we put it up on our YouTube channel so you can go back and review it again too now again this just helps at the end of the day to make you a better competitor so this is our first pro show of the year Across the board, there's no other divisions that have competed yet. It's just bikini. That's it. That's all we've got so far. Legends is always the first show of the year. And typically what happens at this particular show is you see a few new pros that are trying to kind of come out and make a mark. Um, and you also see some girls that are coming out that are trying to get feedback going into the Arnold. So we had that here. Um, both Ashley Kaltwasser and Lauren Dana Miller are both competing in the Arnold. So I'm sure, you know, first of all, Ashley lives in Vegas, which is where Legends was. So I'm sure she just wanted to compete because she lives there. Um, and Lauren, I'm sure, wanted to get feedback going into the Arnold so she knew what she had to do over the next, you know, three, four weeks, that kind of thing. So with that, Ashley did win the show. And when we get to talking about her, I'm going to delve into a little bit more about her as well. All right. Um, so okay, so going back to the show. So we're going to start with fifth place and work our way up. Okay, so fifth place was uh, Marissa Rivera, 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 R Rivero. There we go. Marissa Rivero. Okay, this was her first show, I think, in four years. I think um, she was a top five girl when she was competing before. And then she got off stage, had a baby, all those kinds of things. So this is her first time back. Um, the first thing that I can say, she used to compete as a blonde. Uh, now she's a brunette. Either way, I think she's good. I don't think either one makes a huge difference. Um, you know, if she feels good being a brunette, cool, that's fine. Um, I don't think it made a huge difference though as far as her overall look. Um, now these photos are very dark. So that's the first thing I'll say. Sometimes it's really hard to tell what you're looking at based on photos because of the lighting and the photos or whatever. Um, so these photos are dark. So I could be seeing more here than what they actually saw on stage. But to me, she looks really, really hard. She looks really hard. Like she's got veins through her shoulders and her biceps and through her, um, she's got that, that, that cut into her, um, her hip and everything there too. That's really hard. 
even when she turns around to the back, um, I see where she has some loose skin back there. Um, and that's from being too hard. She's just super depleted. So, um, what I'd like to see happen from her as she continues, if she continues, is I'd just like to see her fill out. Uh, she's definitely in shape. There is no question that she is in shape. She just needs to be fuller. This is a really, really hard look, really, really hot, like dry look. And again, this is, this is according to the photos, but like I'm looking at her obliques and everything and I'm seeing just how, how hard she is through that midsection. Um, and I just like to see her fill out some more. And also I see that when I see her in comparison to the other top five girls, um, she just looks really, really dry, right? So she just needs to fill that out. Uh, she's got a great shape. She's got enough muscle. She's got a great shape to her glutes. But because she's a little bit hard, because she's a little bit dry, everything's a little like she has a little bit of loose skin underneath there. So she's got to get to just fill that back out. So it really is not a huge change that she needs to make. She just probably needs to eat a little bit more and not dehydrate quite so much and drop so much water. Uh, and I'm sure, that, I'm sure this was a um, balancing act for her as well, being that this is the first time that she's been back on stage in four years or something like that. So maybe she didn't realize she was going to get that hard. You know what I mean? So overall, though, the look was good. It's just she needs to fill it back, fill it out, right? You can even see it in her face. Her face is very, very dry. Um, so I'd just like to see her fill out, fill out some more. Now, again, going back to these photos are very harsh lighting, very hard lighting. So it could be making her look harder than she actually looked on stage. Um, if I had some video to look at, I could see that as well. Uh, but like her, again, she's got great shape to her glutes. I just like to see her fill out overall a little bit more. Um, and I think that this color suit on her probably popped a little bit better under, under the lights than what we're seeing in the actual photos too. So it's probably a better probably a better look in person than what we're actually seeing in the pictures. Um, but, you know, to come back after four years and hit a top five, not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all right there. Um, moving on to next up, which is fourth place, which is Vanya. So again, um, when we're looking at Vanya, one of the things that Vanya has always had an issue with is getting her lower half to be as conditioned as her upper half. Uh, her lower half always tends to be a little bit softer, uh, especially from the back. That's always her critique. That was her critique all year last year. Um, so I can see that this year in this particular show, she was trying to create that a little bit better. Um, and I can say from, I think, again, I'm looking at these photos and these photos are hard lighting. So I think from these photos, I do think she's tighter from the back. Um, which is what she needed. But that also means she's a bit tighter from the front too. So when you come in, it's, it's, it's hard because it's really hard to like spot reduce fat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if you're just normally and naturally going to be a little bit fuller through the glutes and through the hamstrings and, and things like that, when you bring that down, you're going to come down everywhere else too. So I do think she did a good job of keeping herself full up on top with her shoulders and things like that too. Um, looking at her waistline, her waistline's nice and tight. I think from the front, she looks pretty good. Um, and again, it's really hard with these, these pictures because this lighting is just so harsh. This, this lighting is really, really hard on them, which creates um, angles and things like that that I don't think they probably saw when you were there in, in real life. Um, so I don't know, I, I, maybe a little bit, mm, maybe a little bit fuller, maybe like, I, I, but I don't know, like, I don't see that really graininess that I saw in Marissa. So I don't see that as a problem. Um, maybe a little bit more width to her back to, to, to balance her upper with her lower. You know, I think her shoulders have come up quite a bit, which, which does help to balance her from top to bottom for sure. Uh, so, you know, I'm just going based on shape. And I'm thinking maybe if she has a little bit more width up on top, that might help her. And that may just be a posing thing too. She might be able to twist her waistline a little bit and pull that waistline in just a little bit tighter, which would bring her lower half down just a touch more, maybe. Um, again, I don't know. And I, I, I'd like to see video. I'd like to see different lighting on this to be able to give a better critique than that. Because uh, I don't think she's overly hard from the front, especially after looking at Marissa and now looking at her. I don't think she's overly hard, but it does look like she's does look she's like she's tight enough from the back, which I know again has been a, has been a critique that she's gotten in the past year. So um, I'd like to see again video to be able to to tell you a little bit better on her, um, but maybe just a little bit more shape up top. Again, just to try to balance. Uh, I don't think she really needs to bring her lower half down anymore. I think it's just more about just opening up the upper half a little bit more. Um, okay. 
and we're gonna go to <laughs> so Ariel. we're gonna go up to third place which is Ariel um and I thought this was a really really good look for Ariel um she's a beautiful girl she just came onto the scene last year and made it to the Olympia she won I think she won the second show that she competed in as a pro um, and I think that her shape looks great here. Uh, I, I like her overall. Again, she's got a really beautiful look to her. Her her hair and makeup and everything as well, too. Really, really beautiful. So is the suit. That's a really good color for her. Um, we're good. Good. Awesome. Um, and the shape of her glutes and everything is great as well. Now, one thing I'll say comparing her to the other two in the top three is I think she was the most muscular of the three. When I saw the three pictures of Ariel, Lauren, and Ashley, it was almost like like mama bear, baby bear, and then, oh wait, no, I said that wrong. This is three, three bears, like Ashley's in the middle. Whatever the, the middle one is, is Ashley, right? So um, when I saw Ariel, Ariel looked like she was the most muscular of all three. Uh, and I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. She may just need to come down just a touch tighter, maybe in the waistline. Uh, I like the fullness of her glutes. I like the fullness of her shoulders. I actually really like the fullness overall of her look. I think it looks really good. But when you're comparing her next to the other two in the top three, she was the most muscular and the fullest of the three. So, you know, maybe that, maybe that hurt her in this particular lineup, but I don't know if I would change it. Um, I think she looks really good that way. Uh, so I don't know if I would actually go about trying to change her look at all. I think it's just going to be a matter of which lineup she gets into. Uh, when I look at her, I think the only thing that I could see where maybe she wants to improve a little bit is a little bit tighter through the waistline. Uh, but even that is just a maybe. I don't know if I would do that or not. Because, again, I like the fullness. She's a little bit fuller through the legs and the glutes than most of them. Um, but it's still a really balanced frame. So I don't know if I would change that. You know what I mean? Um, just so focus anywhere. There you go. There you go. So, you know, overall, I, I really like her look. Um, I, I, maybe, like I said, maybe bring it down just a little bit more, but even then she might be a little bit too lean at that point. And then I might be saying that she looks too hard. Like I was with, with Marissa. So I think she's got a good balance. I do. I think it's just a matter of whichever show she's in. Um, in this particular show in the top three, she happened to be the biggest of the three. Uh, the fullest, the roundest, and I particularly like that look. So I don't know if I would change that. Um, and again, overall, her her beauty, her flow, everything, her her balance is really good. So I again, I don't know if I would change it. Um, I'm looking at her back pose here. Um, yeah, and one of the things I critiqued around last year was that her hair covered up her delts in the back, and that's not the case here. Her hair, her hair is fine in this particular show, um, so that's not a problem either. Um, yeah, I think it's just a matter of which show she goes into. I think here she just looked a little bit big in comparison to the other two, but I, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. So it just happened to be where she landed for this particular show. Um, second place with Lauren. Lauren Dana Miller. And, you know, when we did our preview, this was basically what I thought was going to happen. Um, we didn't know Ariel was doing this show. We didn't have her on the pro list when we did our preview, so I didn't have her in my lineup, but I probably would have put her in third. That's probably where I would have pre previewed her at. Um, and I had the win between Lauren and Ashley, which is what it came down to with Lauren in second. Um, this is a new look for Lauren with the, uh, with the purple suit. And I like it. I don't know if I like it better or or not than the blue that she has before. I like her blue a lot. I'd probably have to see this in person to see if I like the purple better than the blue. I don't think it's a bad look on her. I just don't know if I like this one better or if I like the blue one better. Um, the overall cut and everything like that looks good on her. It definitely does. Um, shape looks good. Uh, she's bent a little bit too much in her knee in her front pose. Now, I like the bent knee, the soft knee in the front pose. That helps to give the leg more definition, tends to help the, the glutes to pop a little bit usually. But I think she's bent just a little too much. I like to straighten her up just a touch. I think if we straightened her up just a little bit, I think that would overall look a little bit better on this pose. Um, hand in the waistline, I like to see come down a little bit too. She's got a little bit high. And then um, just being careful about not sucking in too much on that rib cage in the front pose. 
uh, waistline is nice and tight. That V into her shoulder is really nice. Um, she does need to fill out a little bit on her shoulder. Again, going back to what we were talking about with the three three little bears kind of thing with the three of the, those top three. Um, of the top three, Lauren was the smallest. Um, Ashley was in the middle, and then um, Ariel was the biggest. So. Uh, I would like to see Lauren fill out a little bit more in that shoulder um, from the front pose. And then let me see what she looks like from the back. I remember looking at her back pose, but I want to pull it up again before I make any other comments in her back pose. Let me see. Looks look good. She could, have, she could stand to be a little bit fuller um, in her shoulders in the back. Uh, shoulders look a, like like she's got some good width. But we need some more. We need some more roundness in those delts. Again, going back to the shoulders. Same thing. The back pose. Um, glutes look good. Tines are good. We're good there. She's nice and full, nice and round. All those kinds of things. Her shape looks really good. But where I'd like to see the improvement is on the shoulders. That's where I'd like to see the improvement. I think that would help to balance her. Um, just like to see a little bit more shoulder cap there. Maybe that's just a matter of pumping up a little bit more. That kind of thing. Uh, that would help to to help to balance her from the top to bottom. I think. Um, overall pretty look though. Again, I'd like to see the difference between the purple and the blue. Um, maybe go a little bit shorter on her hair. I'm noticing now that I'm looking at the back pose that her hair is touching the top of her glutes. That may be a problem. That may be, um, uh, covering them a little bit. Maybe go like an inch or half an inch shorter. Uh, that's something actually Marissa Wu, um, competed in the show. And that was something that I critiqued her on her last show. And she did cut her hair for the show. So that looked really good. That was good. Just enough to be up above the glutes. Um, Lauren's hair is a little bit long. She needs to cut, cut off maybe an inch, uh, just so that it sits above her, it sits above her glute line there. And that's that we can see the top of her glutes. Um, she's a longer, leaner girl. So we don't want to cover up too much of her if we can't, if we can um, and then we're gonna go up to Ashley. So Ashley won this show. Um, and like I mentioned before, when you're looking at the, at the top three, she's like that, that right down the middle girl, right? Preaching to the need more shoulder choir. There you go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, so Ashley, like I said, when we we're looking at this top three, Ashley was right down the center, right? So she was nice and full in her shoulders. Um, she always, it's really hard to beat her with her back shot. Very hard to beat her with her back shot. Um, so her back shot always looks good. Her front shots where she tends to suffer if she suffers. Um, I think this was pretty good. I know she switched out her suit for finals. I wish I had pictures of finals. I just see pictures from prejudging here. Maybe there's some on the last page. I'll look. Um, I know she switched out her suit for finals. Uh, she looks pretty lean here. This is probably the leanest I've seen her in a while, but she's full. Her shoulders are nice and round, so that's good. She kept that nice and full. And again, these pictures, the lighting is harsh, so maybe she's not really that lean, but in these pictures, it kind of looks like she is, right? Um, so I actually really like the way her shoulder is right now. Maybe V her waistline a little bit more. I know she tries a bunch of different variations with her waistline and her, and her front pose. I think I'd like to see her twist a little bit, just a little. Um, and that might not be the right solution. I'd like to see it though and see what it looks like. Um, let's see. Let's see what her back pose looks like here. She does pull her hair off her back and I don't know if I would do that. I know that's part of her routine and things like that, but she has a pretty muscular back. I don't know if I would do that. I might leave her, might leave her back, her hair down her back versus pulling it off during that, during that transition. Um, okay, so looking at her back pose, yeah, I mean, this is the what I was talking about with Lauren, where Ashley has that that delt cap on the outside of her delts. I'd like to see that on Lauren. Um, I think that would help Lauren a lot. Um, and her back pose is her her glutes are definitely the best um, of the top three for sure. It's right down the middle. Again, when I looked at the top three, she was right down the middle. Um, nice and full, nice pop. It's really hard to beat her from the back. Really hard to beat her from the back. Um, let me see. I'm looking at the last page of pictures just to see if by chance she has any of the other suit pictures up. I don't think so. I think it was just prejudging. Yeah. Just um, pre I would like to see her Sorry. in the other suit. Um, I did see, uh, some photos and things like that, you know, like, you know, on her Instagram. I know it, well, I was mentioned that kind of thing, but I'd like to see her on stage in the other suit and see what, what that color looked like on her. Um, 
this particular red suit that she wore. I mean, she's been wearing red for a while now, but I wasn't a huge fan of this red suit just because of the pattern of the crystalline. Um, it just wasn't, to me, it wasn't really flattering on her. Um, so I'd like to see what that other suit looked like uh, and see how that, how that played off for her. Because uh, I just feel like those color, those crystals in the center of this particular red suit were too light. Um, we, were talk we talked about that uh, a little bit last night. We were talking about suits and things like that, um, where it, the crystalline color can actually be a problem if it's the wrong crystals. And I, I do think that was the case here in this particular suit. I, I wasn't a huge fan. Oh, for, that, for the stones. Yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it either. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just, I wasn't a big fan of, I don't know, to me, it just didn't, I don't know. I don't know what the, I don't know what the look was that they were going for. I'm not really sure. But those light colored stones in the center of the suit, light colored stones in general are not really a good idea. Those like white stones, it's not really a good idea. Um, unless you're using them for like figure suits and things like that when you're doing outlines and stuff. But it should never be really a base color of stones. You know, like the, the crystal color should never be the color of your suit, if that makes sense. And that's what I saw here, and I wasn't a huge fan of that. So I'm sure that's probably why she went back, went to the other suit for finals. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not sure of it, but I, it's probably why. It's what I would guess. So I wasn't a huge fan. So. Now this whole story about Ashley competing a lot has gotten over into the bodybuilding realm, into the men's world, right? All of a sudden now they're de deciding to talk about it three years later, right? So, <laughs> so they're bringing it up again and it's not an issue. It's a non-issue, you guys. It is a non-issue. We all know she's going to compete a lot. That is her prerogative. She can compete a lot, okay? If you talk to any bikini pros who are active today that are wanting to be in the top when it comes to the Olympia, the Arnold, and things like that, they welcome her competing. They welcome her competing because they know that at some point they're going to have to go up against her. And they would rather do it at a smaller show where they can have an opportunity to potentially beat her versus going to someplace like the Arnold or the Olympia, right? They want to be able to beat her. Every bikini pro that I've talked to welcomes her, welcomes her as competition, okay? It is a non-issue anymore, right? I agree. If you want to be the best, you have to be the best. Absolutely. The only time that it was a problem that people were annoyed by it was the first year because she came back during the COVID year when shows were less and she, they felt like she was taking opportunities away from girls in a shortened year to go to the Olympia. That was the only time it was a problem. Since then, girls welcome her coming back. They want to compete against her. It is a non-issue. Now, her strategy is to win as many shows as she wants to win. That is hers. That is her prerogative. That is what she wants to do. Is it something that I would strive for? Probably not, but that's me and that's okay. This is her life. This is her journey. This is what she wants to do. Let her compete. It is what it is, right? Why do the men care anyway? Are they planning to enter bikini, right? No, I think it was just like a slow news day or something, right? I agree. If you want to be the best, you have to be the... Oh, yeah, I read that one already. So I think they're just trying to create drama where there is none. There is no drama. I promise you, I have asked girls, I have talked to girls, they welcome her on that stage because they want to beat her. That's what competition is. It's a non-issue. And I really don't like it when people try to start drama where there is none. There is none. Let her compete. That's it. <laughs> yeah, what do the men have to say, right? Exactly. Men have nothing to do with this. They don't even know what's going on in the bikini world. Why all of a sudden is this a story for them? They don't care any other time. The only time they care is when they can stir up drama. Worse than girls. <laughs> Like, come on, man, really? No, let her compete, who cares? There's freaking, I don't know, 60 some odd pro shows this year. There's gonna be plenty of girls that qualify for the Olympia. There's gonna be plenty, right? Is there a drama in the bikini world movie here? No, there is no drama, that's the whole point. Like, there is no drama. They're trying to create drama where there isn't any. That's it. 
I'm pretty sure she has her expenses covered too. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. She's got sponsors and all that kind of stuff. So this is what she wants to do. Let her do it. And you know, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. The girls don't care. They don't. They know they're going to have to go up against competition regardless of if it's her or if it's somebody else. doesn't matter. Remember the horrible commentary men gave during the bikini at the Arnold or something? They know nothing already. Yeah, they don't know what's going on. They have no clue. Keep your nose out of it. I don't talk about the men's bodybuilding. I don't sit here and talk about them. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, they, I don't know. I don't care what's going on with the drama between all of them. Right? Like, stop trying to create drama where there isn't any. There's no drama here. Let her compete. Now, I will say, I think it would be a smart idea to have a rule amendment where um, if you've won the Olympia, only if you've won the Olympia, if you've won the Olympia and you go into an open pro show or something like that, um, that if you if you win the girl that places second to you, then she does qualify. I think that would be a good rule amendment, but only if you've won the Olympia, not if you've won qualified for the Olympia. No, because then a thousand people will be qualified. No, I don't think that that would be a good idea. I think if you've won the Olympia and you compete then and you win, then whoever places second to you defaults the, the Olympia qualification. I think that would be a good rule amendment because now we've got a ton of active Olympia bikini winners. Like we've got um, Ashley's active, um, Issa, Jennifer Dory, um, Janet's coming back, uh, Angelica's out because she's just had a baby, but I mean, that's four Bikini Olympia winners. So I'm sure they're going to want to do some warm-up shows and things like that. Um, and if they went and they won a show, I think whoever places second to them should qualify. But that's it. I, I think that that would be a good rule amendment. I do think that would be a good rule amendment. I just wish she and her coach hadn't compared her record to Dexter's Apples and Oranges. I agree with that, but um, Bikini and Men's Bodybuilding are completely separate. They are. They are. I like it. Janet's coming back. Yes, Janet is coming back. She is. Yep. So, you know, I, I do think that that would be a good rule amendment because, again, we've got we've got four active Olympia winners right now, right? So I think that would be a good rule amendment. Other than that, who cares? You want to be the best, you got to beat the best. Bottom line. Bring on the competition. Bring it on. Right? <laughs> and I'm glad to see most of you guys agree with me here. You know, like there, it, the guys, there is no drama. There's no drama to be had. It doesn't exist in the sport here unless you try to create it. Let everybody compete and have a good time. That's it. If you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. That's it. Ta-da! We made it through our live feed finally. Oh my Lanza. But I wanted to address that because I thought that was important to address. Um, and I will say this, if anybody out there happens to, to listen to this or whatever, I, I've talked to the bikini pros. They welcome the competition. They do. They welcome the bikini competition. So boys, keep your nose out of it. That's it. <laughs> All right, you guys. With that, thank you for joining me like four times tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. I appreciate you coming back every time. <laughs> um, yeah. whew, we made it. <laughs> All right, you guys. That's it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Have a great night. Have a great night, you guys. Bye. Thanks again for joining us. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. And we'll be back for more amazing content very soon. Thanks, guys.